August 29th, uh, storm uh, Katrina hits. No internet, no Blackberry, no cell, no communications to Mishu, wondering what's going on. September the 2nd, say goodbye to wife. Pack grip for an extended stay at the Mishu assembly facility. NASA's Michoud Assembly Plant in New Orleans has been building rockets for the space program since the 1960s. In August 2005, they were building the hardware that could take astronauts to the International Space Station. That's when Hurricane Katrina made landfall and threatened to destroy the entire 832-acre campus. The newly appointed Chief Operating Officer, Patrick Schuerman, was stuck in Mississippi preparing for a major leadership challenge. I knew I was going to be locked in here for the next what amounted to about 30 days, sleeping wherever we could sleep, every day working from 4 a.m. till midnight to get the factory up and going as quickly as possible. During the height of the storm, Malcolm Wood stayed on site to protect the shoot. The thing that goes through my mind is, are we going to flood the huge manufacturing area? Because if you flood that, then the space program is dead. So the idea is to not flood the facility, and the only way to do it is with these four pumps. That's the only way to keep the water out of here. The pumping system worked, but Michoud sustained massive damage. We'd put tarps on the roofs, and then the wind would blow, or the rain would come and blow the tarps off. We'd have to get back up there and do it again. Critters in the local area were looking for high ground too. We had alligators to deal with, we had water moccasins. People literally who were working here in the factory got rescued off their roofs. Two weeks later, they're in here working. In all, 600 Michoud employees lost their homes. No matter, they wouldn't let NASA down. Only 60 days after the storm, we were back up full operations again. We put a new American flag up, a new NASA flag as well, to make sure that people can see NASA's not dead and the flag's flying. And what we've been entrusted with now is to build a space launch system, which is going to be even more powerful than the Apollo rocket. We are on our journey to Mars, and our part in New Orleans is to take our astronauts further than we've ever been. 